Tanglin sucks. Why? If you've ever watched an episode of Tanglin, you'll find yourself thinking that was boring. And then you wonder how some people can come back and watch the next episode and the next and the next. There's a reason for this. To understand that, we first got to understand what exactly Tanglin is. The show calls itself a long form local drama aka a soap opera. Now like most soap operas, Tanglin is meant to focus on quantity, churning out an episode every day. And they've churned out like crazy. Since the show first aired on 30th of June 2015, There's been 630 episodes in the past two and a half years. The show is in a rush to put out an episode every day, and of course, this will compromise on quality. There's no time to come up with more compelling conflicts, nor is there time to think up of a funnier joke. Episodes can have nothing interesting going on, as the show attempts to draw itself out. There's a technique the show uses that most soap operas also employ. It's called a continuous open narrative. Episodes end in such a way that the show can keep on going, so it never ends. Some story arcs can play out over hundreds of episodes. Just an example, Jay and Diana's "Will they, won't they?" is first hinted at in the first few episodes, and this is only resolved after 264 episodes. I love you. Cliffhangers are a go-to for this. The interesting things that push the plot forward only happen at the end of an episode. Everything else up to that point is just useless filler that has no effect on the plot whatsoever. Even then, the twists that the show take have been getting dumber and dumber. Characters do the most outlandish things, and this makes it hard to keep up your suspension of disbelief. The dialogue also gets pretty janky at times. Sometimes the characters converse as if they're straight out of a spy movie, and it's just so out of character. The dialogue can also get pretty terrible when the writers try to make a joke that just doesn't work. It can leave you with a "what the hell was that?" kind of feeling, and sometimes it's just so cringy. The show is meant to encapsulate the Singaporean life while exploring common soap opera themes like marriage, bullying, abuse, adultery, divorce, cheating, shoplifting, corporate politics, pregnancy, eating disorders, depression, juvenile delinquency. Trust and love, and as I said, the stories and plots aren't that compelling. So maybe the characters are what hook you. Well,、uh, no, the characters are not written well. Now I'm talking about the characters themselves and their choices, which the writers decide. I am not talking about the acting chops of the actors. I'll touch on that later. The writers have fallen short in making us care for the characters in the long run. Some of them are so one-dimensional and unbelievable. That it's hard to get emotionally invested in the characters. You couldn't care less about what happens to him or her or any of them. You don't experience the same emotions the character is going through, and you don't go on an emotional roller coaster with them. Instead, it feels like you're watching from the sidelines. Good writing should be able to have you feeling sad for the characters when they are in pain, have you feeling afraid when the characters are in danger, and have you feeling happy when the characters succeed. Tanglin just doesn't achieve that. Hear that? That's the show's go-to piece for almost all dramatic moments. The first few times the show uses music to emphasize the on-screen drama, it works. But after two and a half years, they've used it to death. It just loses all of its effect. The only reason music works in a show is due to its infrequent usage. Once you've heard it enough times. It loses all emotional impact. And on another note, the soundtrack of the whole show is just ugh. But hands down, one of the most annoying things about the show are the weird PSAs. Every so often, you'll have a character relate their situation to some government initiative, normally concerning healthcare, and just praise it out of the blue. For example, when Lian gets breast cancer and goes for treatment, her friends ask her, "How did she manage the medical expenses?" She responds by telling them how grateful she is for MediShield and government subsidies that helped her pay off her medical bills. I mean, it's kind of shoehorned in there, and this is not the only one, so that gets pretty annoying. It's not the show's fault for having to do this. So Tanglin is boring and kind of dumb, but to be fair, the show is a step forward for the local television scene. In the past, shows used to sideline minority characters. Never before have we had a Chinese family. A Malay family and an Indian family all share equal screen time. The writing is still better than older shows, so it's still an improvement. 
The acting is also much better. There are still some terrible fake accents and overly expressive acting that can take you out of it, but some of the acting is pretty solid. But as I said, it's still an improvement, and we can only go up from here. Tanglin being a soap opera is kinda weird. Soap operas are normally a daytime thing. People are at work so there isn't much of an audience. So for whatever audience there is, they're given soap operas. Now in the past, there were a lot of women who stayed at home as housewives and they were bored. So soap operas were there for them. But more importantly, soap operas served as a vehicle for advertisers to promote their products. Since advertisers knew the demographic, it was easy to know what to advertise. Cleaning supplies, household items, and soap. In fact, soap was so heavily advertised during commercial breaks that the term soap opera was coined. Nowadays, most women go out to work, so the soap opera is kind of a dying form. Tanglin airs at 8.30pm every weekday. Now this is a prime time slot. People are home from work and they just want to relax. Shows in these prime time slots are called prime time television. That's why you categorize Modern Family, Brooklyn Nine-Nine and The Office. So for us, we have a soap opera. Tanglin, traditionally kept for daytime programming in a prime time slot. 